Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading June 25th to July 1st 2018. So four cards spread, now the first one that marks up the topic for Leo is we, we do have the um, <clears throat> five of swords, then is the uh, core of the situation here with the, knight, with the king of pentacles, it is what we do have then is the challenges which is the star card and uh, last but not least we do have the guidance that will be the nine of uh, that will be the nine of wands so for what it seems leo you will have a hard time convincing something someone around your idea that could be a um, you know business investor or in generally a person in your um personal life that you want to make to do something that you both want to do you know uh, the, the bottom line here is, is that you will have a tough time uh, making someone to um how can i say it to cooperate with you all right and why is that it is because this person here mark with the king of pentacles uh does not see any profit in it or kind of they don't they don't finding it amusing and uh, based on the star card for what it seems here it is that you will really start um abandoning hope that that person person could ever either invest into your business, invest in you uh, to be in a relationship with or in general you know being a, uh, uh, being as a, someone that you can count on. Now uh, why is that however, why you can't make that person actually follow you, that is based by the uh, five of swords. Now this card as, as a card of ruthlessness and as a card of um, being tenacious and wanting something at all, co at all cost it is not exactly what that person really wants to see now uh, because they don't chase things at all cost all right they they just they know their limits and it is exactly what you need to do you need to uh, realize the limits of the situation your personal limits as well what you can offer what you cannot offer be uh be very honest with it and then that person will seriously reconsider your proposition. The Five of Swords here as well uh, is uh, reminding us that we could be, uh, or you Leo, not we because I have nothing in Leo, but the Leo can become very aggressive uh, as soon as they start seeing that that person here, which is the core of your situation, uh, is withdrawing, all right? The Leo can become very... Um, arrogant, the Leo can become very cutting with their thong, they could rely on mental cruelty and humiliation as well in order to make that person follow them and it is, you will achieve by that nothing, exactly nothing. As I said, that person is more of a businessman than anything else and if uh, they cannot see any benefits in the long term into that situation either if you want them to be in a relationship with you or either if you want them as a business partner or even as a, as a colleague you know to help you in a certain project if there is nothing in it for them in the long run then they won't contribute so what exactly you could do guys that is displayed here with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands in that case is a sign of patience. It is also a sign of, um, how can I say it? It is a sign of an, not exactly preparation, but making a note of past positive experiences, all right? So what you need to do in order to make that person follow you is to present yourself as a capable based on your achievements from the past, all right? Instead of trying to explain uh, to explain to that person, you know, that you will become better for the future. You are good, it is just that they don't see it. So make a note of what you have accomplished so far from the past. Very important here to realize with the star card into a negative position is that that person that you uh, that you will have to attract, you know, to your agendas or toward, toward your deeds, uh, they don't feel sympathy at all. As I said, they are above businessmen, they're businessmen above everything else, all right? So it's all about benefits is all about money or you know it's all about stability and comfort and it is, and it is exactly what you need to uh, kind of like um, you know clinge upon instead of clinging upon emotional connection with them. Very important as well to be said here is that you need to be very uh, measured with your approach in the sense that you should not go to neither of the extreme states you know extreme humbleness nor extreme aggression 
<clears throat> and you have to be totally, uh, how can I say, it is very difficult to be found such a state but you need to sh to go in uh, the middle uh, in the middle road as I said nothing should be achieved at all costs here uh, so that being said you should be willing to make certain compromises but these compromises should not be a uh, compromises that deprives you from something as well the star card into a negative position as well it may mean that someone is pulling out a uh, hidden strings behind your back so you gotta be careful that could be a, a sign of a rising rival here that you might have so be very vigilant and uh, basically uh, keep an eye to your surroundings and to the people around you so with that being said, Leos, that was your weekly tarot reading for June 25th to July 1st, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.